Hey everybody, I'm Chris Provost, you're watching Provost Progress, and today I'm gonna show you the six most secret resting spots at Disneyland. What? Yeah, that's, that's right, because sometimes you just need to sit down and rest. I'm gonna show you the six secret resting spots here at Disneyland. Now, if you're a college student, this video is probably not for you, and maybe if you're a teenager, you have boundless energy, eh, whatever. But if you're a parent, or a grandparent, or maybe like with little toddlers, what I'm about to show you is a place you go rest at Disneyland, because it's kind of like, just whoa going to rest. So let's go show you the six best resting spots in all of Disneyland. And these are kind of secrets, so let's do it. Okay, so the six best resting spot in all of Disneyland is on Tom Sawyer Island. I just got the raft and now I'm on the Tom Sawyer Island. And the reason this is so awesome, particularly if you have little ones, is the little ones can run around as a parent or grandparent. You can just sit down and find these amazing benches and just relax. And they have a bunch of shady areas. So on a hot summer day, there's some areas here you can come along and you just kind of sit down and, and, and just relax. I cannot recommend this one enough. This is the sixth best resting spot in all of Disneyland. I'll show you right where the best place is. There goes Amanda and Miles. They're going to go into Men's Grotto, but we're going to walk this way to the resting area. I'll show you right where the best places are to rest. Tom Sawyer Island is absolutely amazing. We did a whole video on the secrets we built at Tom Sawyer Island. It, this attraction, almost every single inch of it, was designed by Walt Disney himself really cool really fun and the nice thing about this area is you can come down and sit down and relax and rest and little kids they just keep going and going and going yeah, you're gonna notice lots of little benches as you're walking along the pathways but what I'm gonna show you one of the best places is is right past this Fort Wilderness and you can go either oh whoa what's going on you can either go up or down I'm gonna go down and around but this way is a little bit quicker if you go that way but this is gonna walk you right down here to a really good area to rest as you can see, look at all the trees and there's benches underneath the trees, providing you with a lot of shade. Very good spot to rest, but you get a nice little view there of the Hungry Bear restaurant. But that's not my favorite place to rest here on this island. We'll just keep walking. Okay, so right here at the very end of the island, you're gonna see where they have this treasure chest area with like the pirate treasure booty. But right behind me, you're gonna see this bench right here. One of the best places to rest. You notice you're right underneath the tree. Lots of lots of shade provided for you. And the best part about this is this. Right next to the bench, there is a little cave area where kids can go in and run through. They can peek their heads out right there. And it's not like a huge long cave. They're not gonna get lost. They just come out these little areas right here. So that way as a parent, you kind of know where your kids are and you can sit down and rest right here on this bench. The sixth best resting spot in all of Disneyland, Tom Sawyer Island. It is wonderful and shady. This little spot here in Tom Sawyer Island reminds me of this little little uh, saying. Knock, knock. Who's there? Tom Sawyer. Tom Sawyer who? Tom Sawyer underwear? <laughs> and there's my sweet wife, Amanda. What are you doing? I'm just enjoying myself. I'm very much enjoying myself. <laughs> At a resting spot. It's so nice. It is so nice. Nice. It is so nice and relaxing. If you have kids, they can like entertain themselves for a little bit, which is so huge. You know, you get it. You're a parent. You're, you're tired of running around. The kids can play and you can sit and relax. And there's so many beautiful mature trees. And it's just peaceful. You don't feel like you're in like a theme park anymore. It's so nice. Just to get a perspective of this, here we are. There's Miles. It's not crowded here at all, but look on the other side. It's very crowded. That's why this area is so nice because it's just great. And then here comes the Mark Twain. And there's one of my favorite cast members right there. Let's see if I get him to wave at him. Roberto! Roberto! Hi. Hello! There goes the Mark Twain. We love the Mark Twain. Hello! Everybody, I love it. It's are very friendly. Everybody's all happy to be here, so it's... Okay, it is so fun though to see the difference. How many people are walking around over there? Hi, how are you? There we go, Disney Insider, woo! And now, see, look, all the people there, we just gotta go, and there's the canoes. We kinda gotta go heck home a little bit, maybe. All right, so we're gonna go now show you the fifth best place to rest at Disneyland. But I just have to say, because I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments. I've been calling it Tom Sawyer Island the whole time. It's also known as Pirate's Lair, but in my heart, it will always be Tom Sawyer's Island. 
Okay, so for the fifth best resting spot in all of Disneyland, you need to come to the Mark Twain. Now, a lot of times people don't realize this is a good resting spot because they think you have to go in the Mark Twain. You don't, I'll show you. This is a loading area for the Mark Twain and Columbia uh, boats. And so a lot of times people think that you just is only coming here if you're getting on the uh, boat. Well, you, this is the loading area, but if you notice, they have some tables here. Oops, I'll get that. Or, or, Right off the side, right over here, I'm going to show you a perfect little area to relax at. See like these tables? You can sit here, you are in shade, and you have a nice little view. You got the breeze coming on, and you can come and just sit here and relax. And if there's not a table, then you can come right over here, and you can sit right here on the edges of the bricks and just kind of relax. Take your time. You don't even have to be getting on the boat to sit and take care of it and use this area. For the fifth best resting spot in all of Disneyland, come to the boathouse of the Columbia and the of Mark Twain. It's awesome. You sit here, relax. It's just, it's amazing. Perfect covered shade, perfect resting area. Okay, in order to go to the fourth secret resting spot in all of Disneyland, we gotta go all the way across the park. Now, when I was researching these great resting spots, I tried to find them kind of sporadically around Disneyland. So no matter which area of the park you're at, you can find an area to rest and relax. Let's go all the way over into Fantasyland slash Tomorrowland. Did you guys hear about that little toddler that got arrested at daycare? Yeah, he was resisting arrest. <laughs> arrest, arrest. You know, like a nap. He's resisting it. Okay, well, that was that was terrible. All right, so right behind me we've got the Nemo submarine voyage. And on this side over here, we've got the Matterhorn. So I'm technically leaving uh, Tomorrowland and entering into Fantasyland. Well, this resting spot is right here on the kind of border of the Tomorrowland and Fantasyland. Nice little areas where you sit down and relax. Hello, little octopus over there. Hank, do you know how many tickles it takes to make an octopus laugh? 10 tickles. Right there is we have the Autopia cars going by, but you'll notice a whole bunch of benches right here, right underneath the monorail. Nice little area for you to sit, particularly even when it's sunny, you get some shade, but it also extends. I'm gonna show you how it extends all the way around here so you find plenty of spots to just kind of relax and rest at. There are plenty of benches right there to relax, right underneath the, oh my gosh, little baby ducklings. Oh my gosh, we're being invaded. Here they come. I can't even handle this. Oh my gosh. It's the mom, making sure they're okay. Okay, we continue on. We'll show you a little bit more, another little spot here. It's kind of connected with this resting area. It even says the Matterhorn rest area. We go right here. You can see this little shack right here. And then behind the shack, you're gonna see all these little tables. This little chateau is called the Edelweiss Snacks. You come over here and grab a snack, but once you've done grabbing a snack, even if you didn't grab a snack, you come right back here and there's plenty of shade and areas to rest. This area used to be a boat loading area for they had a boat ride, and now they've just kept the dock here for the loading. Uh, they used to, for this old attraction, and they've turned it into a rest area with tables and napkins and a place you can sit, and it's all shaded. It's a perfect area to just come and relax. I'm just gonna show you this little area here. You can see there are plenty of tables to sit. They've got, it's covered, so you have shade during the summertime. Nice little water view over here of the old attractions that used to be. The boats used to go back there as old attraction. And you just come here and just kind of relax and enjoy this area. It's a perfect area, so you can see a little table here. Small World is right over there. It's a perfect area to come relax. This is the fourth best secret Disney resting spot. And this one's great. You could just, best one, best part of this one is if you just grab some food, you come sit down and eat here at these tables and relax and just kind of take a load off and just like, oh, recharge and just get ready to go as you keep going on for the day. Really great spot to find. Not, and it's not used very heavily. There goes the monorail I just drove by. What a fun little view. Okay, so now I'm gonna take you to the third best resting spot in all of Disneyland. And this is, you can actually catch the spot at multiple places throughout the park. And it's the only uh, resting spot I have on this list that's an actual attraction, it's a ride. Now I know there's gonna be a lot of people when you ask them about resting spots, they're gonna say, oh, like uh, it's a small world and things like that. Those are, those are fine, those are really good. But the thing is, like it's a small world. 
only lasts for about 15 minutes. So if you want to rest longer than 15 minutes, you gotta get back out of the boat. So what I'm about to show you is an attraction that you can sit on and you can stay on it for as long as you want to while you're just resting and still enjoying the park. Let's do this. Okay, so the third best place to rest in Disneyland is on the Disneyland Railroad. There it is pulling in right there. Here comes the train. This is a very peaceful place to relax. All right, the train's just taking off, and you can just, the thing about the train that makes it so relaxing is you can stay on it as long as you want. You don't have to get off at any station. If you want to ride it for 15 minutes, half hour, or whatever long as you want, you can just sit on a train and ride and ride and ride and get recharged. And also, it's a great view of Disneyland as you go around. Here we are pulling into Main Street, but we're going to stay on because it's fun. And now arriving just, Main Street Station. There's no reason to get off if you want to just relax. Now, for those of you who are riding around and around on the train, it's great. Just be aware of this, that the Main Street Station is the only one that doesn't have an elevator or ramps for... Oh, Miles, want to say hi? For if you need if you like a, a wheelchair or... A, oh, there's... Everyone wants to say hi. So the Main Street Station, if you have like an EVC, electric convenience vehicle, or a wheelchair, this is the only one that you can't get on and off using. Uh, but every other station is very accessible for everybody. Are you posing? No. <laughs> you were. And the best part about relaxing on the train is you're relaxing while the little one thinks that you're on an attraction. So you get both. Rest and entertainment. Trains just taking off, which reminds me, think, maybe think of this. Do you know the difference between a teacher and a train is? A teacher says, spit out your gum, and a train says, choo choo. <laughs> it's just cool because you can just take a look and, and observe Disneyland, and it's great for people watching and just looking around as you go on this train. Very relaxing attraction. Okay, we're pulling into New Orleans. Mardi Gras floats. We're pulling right into New Orleans Station. This is just... I like it a lot. Just relax. Chill on the train, guys. Now arriving to Orleans Square Station. Kindly remain seated until the train has come to a full complete stop. Star Wars Galaxy Edge. Okay, for the number two best spot to rest in all of Disneyland, we've got to go into Critter Country. That's right, Critter Country. But before we get to that and even talk about that, I wanted to say that I'm talking to you. We've been talking a lot about resting, you know, resting when you come on vacation. And in order to go on these vacations, people have to work. So today I'm talking to you. But for those of you who are working in a job that maybe you don't like, or maybe you lost your job and it's not going as well as uh, things that could happen as great as you thought it was going to happen. Or maybe you feel like a little underappreciated at what you're doing at work. You might feel a little underappreciated at work right now. Or maybe you feel like you're working really hard and nobody notices the work that you're doing. Or maybe you feel like you're at a dead end job and you're like, is this worth it? I want you to know that you are amazing and you do a really good job. And I appreciate the work that you do. And I want you to know that I've had that before where I've worked for a boss before. I feel like they didn't appreciate the work I was doing. It's demoralizing. It makes you feel bad. I want you to know that you are important and the work that you do is important. And even if maybe your boss doesn't recognize it, I want you to know that I recognize it and so do other people. You are amazing. Keep it up and don't get discouraged. Keep working, keep being awesome. All right, let me show you the number two hidden best rest spot here in all of Disneyland. You guys, I just heard some breaking news. Dizzy's not gonna make churros any longer. Yeah, they feel like they're long enough. <laughs> There's Winnie the Pooh. We're gonna walk down here, right down to the right, going by Pooh Corner for this amazing spot to rest. Right here is the perfect little spot to rest by Pooh's Corner. They have a bunch of benches that you can relax at. You sit right here. And these benches are sweet because the only people that are usually coming out use these benches are those who are coming off the Winnie the Pooh attraction. And then right here at the very end of the ride, sometimes, sometimes it's they removed it. They'll put like a little bench here, this little area, or you can just come back here and just relax. It's a nice little empty area. You see that they have like the birdhouses. I like to come right back here and I just lean my back right up against the wall and just watch that waterfall. Perfect. Out of the sh you're out of the sun. It's very shaded area. It's fun to look at. You got a nice little waterfall. 
Nobody comes back to this little area ever. Sometimes they have a bench here and sometimes they don't. That's a little hit or miss. But even if they don't have a bench, you can just like lean up against the tree right here and just relax or lean up against the wall. Or just even sit here and lean forward and look at this amazing waterfall. This is one of the most hidden gem spots in all of this and, and very few people even know that, that there's even a waterfall back here. Just come back here and relax. You can listen to the wind for the music over and over. And I would recommend going in and getting a tigger tail. Come back, eat your tigger tail and, and just relax. In fact, that's what I'm gonna do. I did it. Got that, this is my favorite treat. Got that tigger tail right out here in this amazing area right back here by the Winnie Pooh. Let's have a really relaxing time together. Mm. Oh, perfect place to relax and enjoy it right back here. This is the number two best secret hidden spot to rest in Disneyland. Okay, before I get to the number one secret resting spot in all of Disneyland, I just want to say this. If you're thinking about coming down to Disney and going on a little vacation, I'm going to tell you the best way to do this. What you want to do is you want to click the link down below. That'll take you to Getaway Today, and you'll be able to book your vacation, your hotel, your uh, tickets, everything you need through, through them, and you're going to get the best discount. It's like, even if you bought it directly from Disney, it's still going to be cheaper buying it from Getaway Today. Or you can call 1-855-GETAWAY. That's 1-855-GETAWAY. Tell them Provost Park Pass sent you, and you're going to get that amazing discount when you come down here to Disney. You get the best, you get the, the best discount you can. Like, literally, that's who we use. We use them when we come down on our vacations. We book all our vacations through them because you know we're going to get the best prices on our hotels and our tickets. All right, guys, let's continue on and show you the number one secret spot in all of Disneyland. <laughs> all right, that's Critter Country. That takes you back down to, to Batu. There's a Splash Mountain, or it'll be the new retheme to Tiana's Bayou Adventure. There's Haunted Mansion. Right here, they have like a little display where they sell some fruit, pickles, and drinks, whatever you want. But right there, if you turn, go right this way you are going to see a little pathway this is my favorite area in all one of my very favorite areas in all of Disneyland it's perfect it's relaxing you come here and just relax right back here you can stand here you can watch the canoes go by the Mark Twain there's the Columbia Riverboat right over there just kind of relax over here or you go down here where they have some tables perfect spot they have little benches you can sit on they have a little table you bring some food little areas to sit on and you're under trees so it's shade area now there's a this little the, the pelican area there where they serve some food the pelican's landing it's right behind here i'll show you another way to get to this so you don't have to walk all the way around but this is without a doubt one of the best pathways and places to relax in all of disneyland you just come here you eat your food you've got they got shade and bells everything you need it's a nice little pathway right here this is where they dock the columbian at the end of the night and then right over there you see a nice little area where they got the umbrellas to sit and relax and then right over here, you have some nice little areas just to, just to relax. It is really one of the very best areas. And you feel very hidden and like secluded from Disney. You don't feel like you're even part of Disney anymore. I mean, look how crowded it is over there. And there's just a few people right over here and that's it. So cool. It's just a great little area. Just to relax. I love it. More seating just around the corner. See, I'm sitting right over there. Perfect little area. And it's right across from the Haunted Mansion. You see it right here. This has got the harbor, the harbor galley, and you walk right past, right, turn, go right around it. Most people, oh, everybody goes to the left, but I always walk this pathway to the right because it's not very crowded. And it takes you right over that little seating area. Very good area. Now, I'm gonna ask a little teeny tiny favor from you guys. Will you do me a favor? Can you hit that like button? Like, if you like this video, if you learned something, something new about Disney you maybe didn't know, hit the like button. That is your way to communicate directly to me that you like what I'm doing and it kind of motivates me because sometimes I'm like, oh, it's the people like what we're doing. And number two, if you want, you hit that subscribe button. Now, if you hit the subscribe button, there's a little bell notification. If you hit that bell notification, you'll be notified anytime we go live. And we don't go live very often, but when we do, we usually try to give away something or have some fun. Amanda will be there who wants, who doesn't want more Amanda. So hit that little bell notification and that way you can, uh, you can see us when we go live. The other thing is, and if you want even more Amanda than that, you can hit the uh, little link down below where we have our patrons. We have one of the best Patreon communities. If you want to be part of that, we do uh, every Sunday night, we do a video where we answer questions asked by our patrons. They ask us questions and we respond to them directly. And so if you want to be part of that and have your name on the end card, or whatever, it's for as little as $3 a month. That's less than a happy meal. You can become a, a Pro's Park Best Patreon member, part of our amazing community. Click the link down below and, and, uh, and join our Patreon community. You guys are the absolute best. I hope that you have a restful week or month 
year ahead of you. Whatever it is, you're awesome. I'll talk to you later. Bye bye. We went around Disneyland. Boom, 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 boom. I showed you places where you can rest. Cause sometimes you get so tired because Disneyland takes a lot of energy out of you, but it's super, super, super fun. And everybody has a really good time, but sometimes you just want to sit down and you want to relax because you're so tired. So now I showed you where you can at Disneyland.